Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Holly Dodo K95 face mask. Here is the Amazon listing. They come in a box of $34,989. These masks have a 4 out of 5 rating with 7,325 reviews. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these masks before we run them through our TSI machine. They do come individually packaged. And open one of these up. Just by the feel of these, these are more on the rough side, so they don't have the best construction quality. The nose wire is actually not bad. It's not too flimsy, but it does feel like it's a plastic nose wire. So let's go ahead and take a look at these straps. These are pretty good. I'm gonna get another one because I obviously already stretched these out. So these are a little bit gummy, but nothing too crazy. I am getting quite a bit of leakage down here. I am not getting a good seal right under the chin. So I am getting some leakage there. They are actually a very comfortable K95, but they do have a very strong chemical smell. And if you are sensitive to strong smells, you might not like this initially, but the smell will go away eventually. So on the listing, it does say that these are a two layer melt blown mask. And typically that is done because it indicates that the melt blown is not the best, which is why they do double up to get that filtration efficiency where it needs to be. And that could also be the reason, the reason why I am getting quite a bit of collapse. But with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these tests on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency and pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample had a filtration efficiency percentage of 98.92% and a pressure drop of 14.7. The second sample had a filtration efficiency percentage of 98.84% and a pressure drop of 13.2 millimeters of water. The third sample had a filtration efficiency percentage of 99.23% and a pressure drop of 13.8 millimeters of water. So we're back now, and as you guys saw from the TSI test, these K95 face masks did have a pretty good result. The filtration efficiency was around 98%, and the pressure drop was 14 millimeters of water. We have seen bifold style K95 face masks that have better, better results in terms of pressure drop and filtration efficiency, but these are within the standard, and they are a good option in terms of the TSI test results. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what masks we should test next, or if you would like to send us a mask or respirator. We're gonna be leaving our address in the description box down below, along with our website, which is acumed.com. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.